Welcome to this session, Painting Clouds. Clouds are fun to paint, they're easy to paint, and they're one more step that you can take to remove a photograph from being a smeared photograph into your own style of fine art painting. My file for this session is already open. I have cloned it, I've mounted it, and I fit it to this screen. If you're painting along with me, you have your own file in this folder as well. If you don't have one, or if you would prefer to use mine, please feel free to open mine. The first thing we want to do is choose a brush. I'm going to go for the airbrush category, the digital airbrush. We also have that in our custom palette. We'll start with white paint. I'm not sure I'm going to do this right the first time, so I'm going to make a new layer to put my clouds on. Layer, new layer. I generally click on pick up underlying color here. This is in case you're using a brush that is going to blend. This particular brush doesn't, but some brushes like your grainy water and things, they will blend pixels. And so it's a good idea to check mark, pick up underlying color if you think you might use one of those brushes. Now let's start out with some clouds on the horizon. We have the white paint there. We're at size 13. See how big that is? That's fairly small. We'll make it a little bit bigger. Maybe a 15. That's pretty good. Let's hit the tab key. We'll zoom in to the horizon here. And right in front of his eye area, right up next to the horizon, a little bit of space in between. I'll zoom in closer so you can see, but normally you would not be in this close. The clouds on the horizon are rather flat and low to the horizon. So we'll start out by just applying a little bit of this paint and build and up a little bit higher in one spot and then down again, kind of get thin like that. Little cloud. Kind of get to be the cloud here. It's going to be a little bigger cloud here. Just like that. See how they kind of have a flat bottom on them? Let's zoom out so we can see what we're doing. There they are, little clouds in the horizon. Now the thing that you want to avoid doing, like we talked about before, is making a whole bunch of even little clouds that are all the same size and shape. We'll put this cloud right behind his head. And a couple of little clouds behind. Any place that it looks too even, like over here, I think, see the even spacing from here to here and here to here? That's not very artistic, is it? So I'm going to start erasing some of this cloud. And I'll put a break between the clouds over here. There, that looks a little bit more natural. Of course, I'm going to erase it from his hair and face. And a little bit graceful across the bottom. So they're almost flat across the bottom. Okay, let's zoom out and see what it looks like. That looks nice, but I think they need to be more subtle. Clouds in the distance have atmosphere over them, and you generally create it with a coat of blue. But in this case, we just need to reduce the layer opacity to zero and bring it back until you like it. I think I like it.
Maybe there? Let's zoom in. We'll leave it there for now. I think we might want to make it a little bit whiter, though. Let's go ahead. Oh, what the heck, right? There. That looks better. Now let's build a little cumulus cloud. We'll make another new layer for that. We'll get a bigger brush and try it out on the background. That looks like a good size. I'm going to hit Command Z though, so I can start from scratch. Zoom in a little bit. Hit the Tab key. And I'm going to begin my cloud out about here. And I'm doing it here because of the glance, the line of his glance here. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to start a little cumulus cloud. Start a little bit of paint and then we'll build up a little poofy thing. A little bit of pressure, come back down and go up a little poofy thing. Kind of come down like this again and a little bright spot here. And let's just kind of trail it off because the wind's blowing this cloud and it's going to be a little bit flat on the bottom. Little wind here. A little brighter there. Clouds have highlights. There, that looks pretty natural. I think I'll move it over. I'll take the Move tool, Tab key, right about there. 